Quasi here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can manifest your ideal relationship, and really three principles that have helped me have a very, very fulfilling relationship. And before I understood this stuff, I was just going around attracting the kind of people that I didn't want to attract, and I've seen that it's very, very common that you get into this unconscious pattern of attracting the kinds of relationships you don't want. So make sure you stick around till the end of this video. There's going to be a lot of value in this. Before I begin this video, I wanted to quickly announce that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. If you want to enroll into a competition to win this book for completely free in the ebook format at the end of the week, so every single Friday we'll be announcing one lucky winner to get this book for completely free, just comment Life Mastery down below and we'll be picking one lucky winner. Also, I'm super excited to announce that the free one to one consult for the Reality Mastery program is open. So if you want to jump on a console and you want to find out details about that, just wait till the end of the video for the announcement on that. And with that, let's get started with this video. Now in this video, I want to talk to you about you know, how to manifest your ideal relationship. And upon talking to clients, upon having clients into the program, I've realized that a lot of people, the biggest problem is that they unconsciously track the kinds of relationships they don't want. So right now you have a conscious desire. You know, you understand in a vague sense what kind of relationship you would want, but not in that clear sort of way. So one part of you knows, but the other part of you keeps attracting this kind of relationship. The unconscious energy you radiate is bringing in a certain kind of person into your life. So if that's your story, if this is what you've been doing, and you've been experiencing, then this video is for you. So with that, let's get started. Now, biggest problem, attracting same kinds of person. Remember that who you are is the energy that you radiate. The kind of person you're attracting is all a result of who you are within. So if I am a attractive person, I feel attractive, I'm going to attract people. It's as simple as that. Even with manifestation, it's all about who you are. It's all about the being. You know, that is the highest paradigm of manifestation. Most people focus on the doing and the having. They're concerned with, okay, what can I do in order to get? They try all of these business strategies to start up their businesses. You know, they focus on, okay, what can I take? You know, how can I win this lottery? How can I get this quick result, this quick fix in my life? So they try to get a quick gimmicky solution, but that never really works because now they're just trying to put on a band-aid on something that's actually much deeper. So this same pattern over a long period of time, even though you get a quick gimmicky result, a quick fix in your life, you know, you manifest a quick text from the partner that you'd like, that happens, but the longer term average of your life, you'll see the two or three years later, you keep ending up at the same spot. Life goes well, life goes great, but then you keep ending up at the same spot. So it always averages out to a neutral level, and this is all as a result of your being who you are within. And this is why we do the Reality Mastery Program, where we show, show people how to shift that neutral level that they are at, take it to a higher level, amp up your own beingness. Okay, so as a result of who you are within, you're attracting a certain kind of energy, a certain kind of person, a certain kind of relationship. So I've had people who come into the program who have always been attracting abusive relationships, okay? I've had people who've come in and they've been attracting abusive boyfriends, people who don't treat them right, and they wonder, well, why is this? Why do I keep attracting the same kinds of guys in my life? And this is because of who you are being within. And this is gonna be hard to hear, but it is literally who you are being, what kind of energy you are radiating that establishes this role. Whenever you get into this relationship, it automatically establishes this role. So this person naturally first comes into your life, and then the relationship becomes uh, that of abuser and abusee. So this kind of uh, dynamic is created by the energy that's being put forth. It's, it's kind of like a magnet, right? So whatever energy you assume, you start to attract that opposite kind of energy. So with that being said, the biggest question becomes, how do I change myself from within, right? How, how do I start to attract the kind of people that I want? So what you've got to understand is that the kind of people you've been attracting up until this point, it's been an unconscious decision for you to attract this kind of person. Okay, this fate has been unconscious. So you didn't consciously choose. So now if you wanna to get to a point where it becomes a conscious choice on your part, you gotta understand that you gotta get your energy clearer, okay? So an unclear energy means an unconscious attraction. 
So in order to get a clearer energy, in order to emanate a clearer energy so that you start to attract the kind of people that you want, not only does your beingness have to reflect that, but your actions, you know, who it is that is doing has to start to reflect that as well. So the key word here is clarity. People lack this. Whenever people get into relationships, they lack this, and that's why you start to unconsciously attract the kind of people that you don't want. So now I'm gonna share with you three principles that's gonna allow you to have the kind of relationships that you would want. And this is the exact things that have helped me in my personal relationship. And uh, to be honest with you, my relationship with my wife, it started off rocky at first, it wasn't the best. And I realized upon looking deeper and deeper within myself, because anything you're experiencing in your external world is something that's happening in the internal world, right? So upon looking into myself, I saw that these things were the things that were missing. So I'm gonna share with you exactly what helped me, what allowed me personally to get to a more fulfilling relationship, what allowed my clients to get into more fulfilling relationships after years and years of attracting the kind of relationships that they don't want. And this is gonna be pure value for you. So make sure you take notes or actually pay attention to this part. So number one, you must understand that you get what you tolerate, okay? So you will get what you tolerate. If you're tolerating bullshit from your partner, you're gonna get more bullshit. So it's kind of like in a relationship, what happens is the other partner, unconsciously what they do is they try to test the waters, okay? It's kind of like a baby. A, a little child will try to test the waters. Initially, when you get into a relationship, people will try to test the waters to see what, you, what they can get away with. You will unconsciously do this as well. So this is not a conscious choice, but rather you're testing the boundaries of this relationship. Okay, what is acceptable, what is not acceptable? Okay, so two people get into a relationship, they have their own values, their own principles, and they try to merge it together into one. Okay, and in principle number three, this is gonna make more sense, but for now, just understand you get what you tolerate. If you start treating shit from people, if you start treating sh <laughs> tolerating shit from your boss, boss is gonna give you more shit. Okay, I don't mean go up to your boss and say, no, fuck you boss, you know, don't give me shit, blah, 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 that's not what I'm saying. It's just that you must first understand what your own principles are. What will you tolerate? What is your threshold? Okay, and beyond that, you just don't go. Okay, you don't venture there. So establishing clear principles for your relationships is the first step, right? So as I was mentioning before, you get what you tolerate. If you tolerate your partner treating you in an abusive manner and you don't walk away from it immediately, you're gonna get more than that. Until you hit your threshold. So ask yourself this, when are you going to hit your threshold? When are you going to hit your pain threshold? Can you speed up that process? Before people make a decision, remember that every single decision people make is always an emotional one, okay? So the emotions have to get up there before you actually make that decision. So we make decisions out of pain and pleasure. I learned this from Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins clarified this up for me. He said, you said, he said you make decisions either out of pain, to avoid pain, or go towards pleasure. That's what's driving us. Our emotions are what's driving us. But we can consciously override that process, okay? So you can get to choose how much pain you'd feel before you make this decision. You can induce this pain for yourself just by this mechanism up here. If you start to look at your past relationships and you've seen what's happened, you learn your lesson. When you learn your lesson, you mentally start to create this pain. You say, oh, this is where this relationship is gonna go. Oh, if Quasi doesn't wake up at 5.30 a.m. and sacrifice for his dreams, then his dreams will become the sacrifice. This is what's gonna happen. That's why I get pulled out of bed at 5.30 every single morning. It's like, oh, time back to work, time to get to work. So th this kind of self-regulating mechanism, you become this. All as a result of understanding what you will tolerate, what you will accept. So like I said, a little child will try to test the waters. You know, they will try to misbehave and see if the parent would react and if they would get scolded or not. Just like that, your other partner is going to try to do that when you start to get into a relationship. You're gonna to start to do that when you get into a relationship unconsciously. So the only way to override this is to establish your own principles for the relationship. Okay, so when you get into a relationship, what I advise you to do, establish three principles that this relationship will be based on. So to give you an example, for my personal relationship, when I saw that it wasn't going the way that I wanted, what I did was I said, okay, look, Bridget, we're gonna establish these principles 
and this is how our relationship is going to be. Do you agree with them? If you don't, then we can talk about them. So it's a collaborative thing, right? So uh, my first principle was honesty. There's always got to be honesty. Second is clear communication. There's got to be clear communication between the both of us. No hiding shit from each other. And the third is trust. Okay, whatever decision we make, we trust each other on it. Even though we might not be able to see the benefits of it, but I trust you to make your own decisions and you trust me to make my own. So once you clarify down these principles for your relationship, and by the way, feel free to copy mine if you want, but I would suggest establishing your own principles that you collaboratively agree on in your relationship, okay? This is the best way to go. So once you establish these principles for your relationship, you sort of set a boundary for it. You say, okay, well, we will not go past this. We will not go past that. So then this unclear energy is no longer there because now you have clarity on what you're trying to attract into your life. Okay, what you're going to accept and what you will not accept. That is the biggest key. Getting clarity on your own self will allow you to track the kind of relationships you want. So even before you, if you're not in a relationship right now, ask yourself, what principles do you live by? What will you tolerate from a relationship? What will you walk away from? What will you work on building? So that's the first key. Establish three principles that you will live by in your relationship. Number two, what you've got to understand is you must come from a place of abundance, not scarcity. Most people, when they get into a relationship, they come into it from a place of scarcity. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is they get into a relationship needing something from the other person. So this becomes a codependent relationship. Most people get in, they say, oh, you know, I want you to do this, I want you to do that, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. That's not what a relationship is about. The best relationship is not one that is codependent, it's not one that is independent, it's not one that's dependent, okay? The best relationship is the one that is interdependent, and that means a symbiotic relationship. It becomes a system where this person is independent, this person is independent, but then they come together, grow together as a unit. Okay, so you must understand that if you need something from your partner and you don't feel complete and whole within yourself first, you should not be getting into a relationship anyways, right? A relationship is just for you to get to a point where you collaboratively grow and create a family, you know, uh, contribute something better to the world and, you know, become better. Because if you want, <laughs> it's kind of like scaling up a business. Okay, this is how I like to think about it. It's scaling up a business. If your business is based on bullshit, you scale up bullshit, you're gonna get more bullshit in the world. We don't want more bullshit in the world. Get to a point where within yourself, you're 100% good. You don't need something from someone else. You are 100% good and you only have value to give. You're so good within yourself that you only have things to give. Get to that point in yourself first before you get into a relationship. Even if you are in a relationship right now, this doesn't mean, oh no, I gotta cancel my relationship now, Quasi said I gotta get good within myself first. No, still work on getting better within yourself. Don't need something from someone. Because in life, if you need something from someone, someone is gonna resist. Whenever you are taking, someone is clutching, okay? This is how the mirror reflects. It's like in reality, if you need something from reality, then reality is gonna withdraw it from you. If you give something, then the mirror reflects giving as well. If you give to someone else, someone else is gonna to give to you. This is the mirror principle of life. So ask yourself, in your current relationship, are you needing something from someone else or are you good within yourself? Get clear on that. Are you coming from a place of abundance or are you coming in place of from a place of scarcity? Are you wanting or are you needing? Do you want this or do you need this? Okay, need is scarcity, want, is abundance. Choice is abundance. A conscious choice is abundance. So that is the second principle you've got to understand. The third one, and this is perhaps the most important of all, is remember that you fall in love. You don't rise in love, okay? And what do I mean by that? What I mean by falling in love is that when a relationship happens, it happens because someone else chooses to sacrifice some things Two people choose to sacrifice something so together they can be whole, they can be better, okay? So whatever old values you had, whatever old stuff that you had, most of it you're gonna have to eliminate. 
so you can make it work in this relationship. So, like I said, if you don't sacrifice for your dreams, then your dreams become the sacrifice. A relationship is a unit. It doesn't mean that you, know, you choose to keep some things and expect your partner to lose certain other things. No. It's both of you getting into this symbiotic unit, growing together, but eliminating certain parts of you. That is the only way you merge into one. Relationship is about merging into one. Okay, so this is a balance that needs to be maintained between establishing, doubling down on your own self, filling up your own cup, but at the same time catering to your partner. Okay, so you need to find that sweet spot between what you will tolerate. It's not about, oh, you know, I will not tolerate this, so I will walk away from every relationship. Then you're going to find something wrong with every single relationship that you get into, man. That's what's going to happen. But if you start to compromise certain things, certain parts of your personality, certain parts of yourself that you're willing to give up, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have to give up certain parts of yourself, certain behaviors, certain attitudes. You're going to have to make certain sacrifices so that this relationship can hit its apex. So always remember, double down on yourself. Become good within yourself first. And then you start to give to the other person. Because if you don't fill up your cup to its brim, then if your cup is empty, you're always going to have these survival instincts kick in. You have to ensure, before you give to someone, your own cup is full. You're catered to yourself. Before you get to thrival, you must first get through survival. There is no other way. You can't just skip this process and jump to that. You can't skip high school math and get to quantum physics. right? So with that, I conclude this video. And just to recap, I'm just going to recap the three big principles and also the biggest problem people face. Biggest problem is people start to unconsciously attract the relationships that they don't want. Then they stay in these toxic relationships, these abusive relationships, and they just keep getting into them more and more and more. The biggest way around this is to get clear on your own energy, the one that you're emanating. You must first understand that you get what you tolerate. So establish your own principles of what you will tolerate from a relationship, what you will not tolerate. Before you get into a relationship, when you first get into a relationship, communicate clearly with your partner what three principles you will tolerate, what three foundational principles this relationship is based on. Me, for example, was honesty, it was trust, and it was uh, clear communication. What are your three principles? Because these initial principles set the foundation, the initial conditions of your relationship. Any sort of system, in, in mathematics, if you look at it, any sort of system, how it evolves is all dependent on the initial conditions. A child, how this child would evolve is dependent on the initial conditions the child was raised at. Right? So that's something you've got to be very mindful of. Before you get into a relationship, understand within yourself what you would like to attract, what, what it is you stand for, what principles do you stand for. And then when you get into a relationship, clearly define these principles with the other person in a collaborative manner. Number two, get to a point where you first feel good within yourself. You are 100% coming from a place of abundance. This relationship is a choice, not a need. This is not something that you need to be in. This is something that you're choosing to be in, out of a place of abundance. Always remember that. Number three, remember that you fall in love. You don't rise in love. Okay, so this means you must give up parts of yourself that isn't conducive to this relationship evolving. Okay, because in a relationship you become one. Even though you have your own principles, be ready to shed them and develop new principles. Maybe things that are not completely left field, but understand that what you will tolerate at the same time what you are willing to sacrifice for this relationship. And with that, I conclude this video. I sincerely hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. And I, I love to hear you guys. And I love to communicate with you guys as well. This was a different style video. right? This isn't about attracting money or visualizing or really you know, attracting a partner. But this is more practical stuff people go through in their everyday lives. People who are currently in relationships. Right? Because I know I've been in that pain of you know, just uncertainty in my relationship. I don't share all of that uh, on social media on YouTube videos, but I've been there. I know what it's like, and that's why I'm sharing this video. Okay, so let me know what you thought of this. Leave me a comment if you liked it, and uh, if you want me to make more videos like this, I would, I would love to. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell there so you're notified of every new video that I put out. 
Also, I'm super excited to announce, as I mentioned before, the free one-to-one -one consult for the Reality Mastery program is open. So if you want to enroll into the free consult to see if we would be a good fit to work together in the Reality Mastery program, click on the link in the description below to sign up, and I hope I see you there. Just to be very, very clear, this Reality Mastery program is absolutely the only thing that's helped me systematically manifest anything that I wanted in my life. You know, whether it be the kind of fulfilling relationship that I wanted, attracting the kind of partner that I wanted, you know, getting to a point where I got to financial freedom, took my business to the absolute next level in a short period of time that was absolutely unheard of, get to a point where you know, I'm no longer stuck, but rather get unstuck, all as a result of who I've become within. Okay, this, all of these happen in my life, all as a result of who I became within. And I know this is possible for you as well, because I'm helping my clients do this in their lives every single day. So make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for the free consult. We have limited spots available, but hope I see you there. And also, I'm super excited to announce that you can also join the free Facebook group. We're enrolling people into that as well, accepting people. We've been backed up a couple of weeks, but if you click on the link in the description below, you can also request a Facebook group. It's a great community of like-minded people and we're all growing together. So make sure you take advantage of this opportunity, this free resource. Hope I see you there. Till next time, peace.